Yeah, so I just want to come on here and talk about um, consumerism. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, like companies and all these businesses and people and stuff, I guess they're all, a lot of people are trying to make money and in order to do that, they want to sell people stuff. And in order to sell people stuff, then they got to, they want to convince people that you need stuff, this stuff that they want to sell you. Or otherwise, if you didn't think you need it, you're not going to buy it or make you think that you need it or want it or whatever. So anyways, so they can convince you that you need something and even more so if they convince you that you can't live without a particular thing then I guess you'll do whatever you can to buy it and keep on buying it and a lot of people they're buying stuff and I used to do it and it ends up in the garbage like one minute it's like something that they gotta have it's like a precious thing whatever it might be it's like i gotta have this thing and then they get it they use it and they get tired of it and then they set it on a shelf or they put it away or they chuck it in the garbage because they don't want it anymore so anyways we got a lot of people buying a lot of stuff they don't need they think they need them and it all goes in the garbage it's, just, it's such a tragedy really and people are trying to fill their lives with the things of this world they think you know if i buy this stuff it's going to make me happy. It's going to make me feel good or whatever. It's going to make my life better. And it doesn't. It doesn't satisfy. It just leaves you empty and wanting more. And you keep buying and buying and buying and trying to, trying to fill your life. Try to make yourself happy or whatever and all this stuff. It doesn't do it. Another thing that's happening is... People are buying stuff in order to try to impress other people. And it's like about outside appearances. So it's like, you know, people, we've been trained and taught, you know, oh, if a person's wearing certain clothing or, or they're got their hair a certain way or a certain color, they got a certain tattoo or they got a certain pair of shoes or a certain coat or they got a certain car or they got a certain house or whatever it is, all this outside appearance stuff. So people buy stuff in order to try to impress others and make uh, try to make other people think that there's something special because of what they bought. Like, really, is that the kind of, like, society that we want to have? Is that you buy a bunch of stuff in order to try to show people that you're such a special person or a great person because you, you're wearing, like, something that you bought? Like, you want people to judge you according to what you're wearing or what you're driving or what house you live in? And people do it. It's like, and then, and then, like, say you know certain thing maybe wears you know the color fades on it or you know wears out a little bit it's like oh you know oh i got a little tear in my shirt so i'm just gonna chuck it in the garbage i'm not gonna fix a shirt you know can't do that because you know you don't want to you don't want to see somebody you don't want to, somebody to see you with like a patch on your shirt, right? Like you just throw it in the garbage, right? It's just garbage. You paid big bucks for it. You just chuck it in the garbage and you buy, go buy a new one. 
Because you're all so worried about what people think about, yeah. Because they think that, because we've been trained, like, ooh, like, it doesn't look good if you're, you know, if you're not wearing fancy dancy clothes and, you know, like, like, it's crazy. Like, anyways, so, yeah, I don't know, just think about the things, like, I, I'll tell you the things I realize I don't need okay for one toothpaste I I brush my teeth um with a toothbrush but I don't use toothpaste and I've been using toothpaste for like five or six years and I don't get cavities and I uh, met a guy from Jamaica and I was telling him about this and he says he never used toothpaste in his entire life and he's never had a cavity so Toothpaste people, a lot of people think, oh yeah, you got to use toothpaste, but do you really? You know, they they, they teach you and the commercials and stuff says, oh yeah, you got to use toothpaste, 9 out of 10 de dentists recommend, you know, this kind of toothpaste or that kind of toothpaste or whatever. But the toothpaste is not even necessary. You don't need toothpaste. And I had a dentist, old school dentist, he's retired now, very great dentist. Best, he's, I think the guy is epic dentist okay he told me and i'm sure he told other patients that he had he said mouthwash is nothing but a breath freshener thing it's not it doesn't do anything for your for your mouth it doesn't like make your teeth better make your gums better or anything like that it's just a um it's just a breath freshener that's all it is but they market it as like some kind of like tooth mouth like fixer upper, but it isn't. Uh, what else? What else? Like I don't, I don't like buy new clothes all the time. I used to work at the thrift store in in St. Mary's at the Salvation Army, and there's all this used stuff that they just people don't buy. It just gets all chucked in the garbage. A lot of it. But people go out and buy new stuff, even though there's stuff there that's perfectly fine. There's dishes. Yeah, who cares if the dishes don't match and the silverwares don't match and the cups and whatever don't match? What does it matter? What? Why? It's, it's, about, outside, it's about outside appearances again. People are all worried. Oh, you know, we got to have all matching plates and all matching silverware because if I don't then what people gonna think something bad about me because all my stuff doesn't match meanwhile what are we doing as a society we're chucking all this stuff in the garbage all this perfectly good plates perfectly good cups mugs clothing you know all kinds of stuff that's perfectly fine it's used, yeah. You know, it might have a scratch here and there. It might not be all matching, you know. But it's fine. It's good. But instead of getting stuff like that, which we have an abundance of, it's being all chucked in the garbage, we go out to the store and we buy brand new, even though we got all the... We got used... The good furniture from years and years ago, solid furniture and stuff... It's like people don't want it. They want to go and they buy new junky furniture. And there's people that they don't even try to find the new home for what they have. They just, it's too much work. You know, if they're moving or something, oh, just chuck everything in the garbage, even though it might be just fine, it might work. Just chuck it in the garbage and then we'll go and we'll get new stuff. Like, it's such a weight, it's a wasteful society. You know, we're so wasteful we're, and, and we're spoiled, you know. And so because we have so much, we waste it. And we and we tra we make so much trash, you know, <laughs> like it's horrible. And what else? What else was I? I had something else I was thinking, too. But, oh, man, I wish I, wish I could remember what I was thinking there. But, um, yeah, uh, it's just. It's really um, sad to see people. Try yeah, another thing is food. How much, how much food is being wasted? Like, 
they're they're chucking things out at the grocery store, you know, and restaurants and stuff. Like they used to sell like day old donuts at donut shops and things like that. Now they now they just take day old donuts and they just chuck them in the garbage. And grocery stores when they hit the after they hit the best before date, they just chuck it in the garbage. All that work and energy it went to plant a crop, you know, a farmer to plant, to tend to the crop, to harvest the crop, to ship the crop to the factory, to the factory workers to put it into a can or jar or box or whatever, to have them ship it to the store, the employees in the store to stock it on the shelf, you know, and then the and then people in the in the store are going around and checking uh, you know, best before dates and then they find it it's past the date and they go and they chuck it in the garbage and then somebody comes along and picks that up and they take it all to the dump or whatever. All that work and energy for some thing that ends up in the garbage, which it, it's still edible. Like what a waste. People are so it's so wasteful. Like, oh it's it's horrible how how wasteful we are. And, and we don't even we don't even think about the plant. We hardly think about the planet and how much damage we're doing and causing. And people like building these giant homes for like what a couple to live in. Like that's all about show too. You got tons of money, so we even if they don't, they borrow or something, and they build these giant, massive homes that they, you know, it takes all this lumber to build, and we're cutting down all these. That we're cutting down old growth forests, like a thousand year old trees and stuff, you know, and we're cutting all this lumber and we're digging up all the land to to mine and all this stuff and to build these giant homes for like one or two people to live in and to fill with all this stuff they teach us that you you need to have, and then if you don't have, you're gonna die, you know that you can't live without it. When really what you can't live without is God. You know? It says in the Bible to be content with food and clothing. If you got food and clothing, it's nice to have shelter too. If you got that, you got all you need. Well, plus God really is all you need. If you have God, food and clothing and shelter, you got it made. You should be happy. And I'm happy. I got very little possessions and I'm happy. And I'm not a slave to money. People buying all this stuff and they're enslaved. They could have all this free time, but they're working to pay for all this stuff. They're working to buy these cars and spend all this money on gas. And to buy all these clothing, buy boats and buy these houses and cottages and four-wheelers and snowmobiles and and video games and pay for their cell phones and all this stuff and then they gotta work all the time when really the only work we really have to do is what the curse was was to to attend the land we had to go plant and reap so we could eat but now we got all this modern machinery Tractors and stuff. They do a lot of work. We could just be sitting around relaxing. Enjoying God. Having a good time. But we're, we're enslaved to money. And to buying all these things that the commercials and stuff teach us that we need to have. And we go waste all our money and waste everything. And and people are happy and they treat each other poorly and everybody treats each not everybody but a lot of people they talk really mean to each other and they say all this mean stuff and make fun of each other and belittle each other and ridicule each other and poke at each other and everything Just trying to they get their enjoyment out of hurting other people and saying bad things and they think it's funny and they think it impresses other people when you do all these bad things and you get drunk and you do drugs and you have sex with all these people and you have abortions and you do all this stuff and you think you're really popular because you're doing all these bad things. 
and and you, and 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 then you want your outside appearances to make yourself look good, so you go and you pay all this money to the hairdresser, and you get hair hair dye, and you get all tattoos and rings, and you get all this fancy clothing to try to show everybody, look, look, I'm some kind of great person. Look at my clothes. Look at my hair. Look at my shoes. Look at all this stuff I'm wearing. But it's really what's inside the counts. What kind of person are you? Is that how you is that how you want your friends to choose you as a friend? Cause what clothes you're wearing, how much money you got, how what car you're driving, what house you're do, living in, and all they're doing is they're using you for your money. And when the money's gone, the people's gone too. So it was all just a waste. It's all just a big trick of the devil. Turn away from that stuff. Get forget all the consumerism. Forget it. You know it's just a waste, and, you, and people and making all these products that don't last to keep the economy going. That's nonsense. We build a bunch of junk to throw in the garbage so people will buy more to keep the economy going. What kind of gar what kind of nonsense is that? Why don't we just build stuff that lasts and we don't have to work all the time? Like. And all the greed too. People are so greedy. They want to sell. They don't. They sell in their houses or properties. They they don't care about the next guy. They just want as much money as they can get. Just give me money, yeah. If I can get two billion million trillion dollars for my property, is somebody stupid enough to give me that money? I want it, cause I'm greedy. Everybody's so greedy, greedy, greedy for themselves. Everybody, give me, give me money for me. I want to buy a bunch of junk that the consumer commercials tell me I gotta have. I gotta, I gotta be selfish and buy this junk to try to impress people and say, "Look at me! I got all this, I got all this junk that they, that they taught us to, that we need to impress each other, and that's how we judge each other by what we're wearing, what we bought." Sick. It's sick. And it's 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 not a god. God's not telling us to do this stuff. It's the devil. So anyways, hope you find this informative and maybe you'll actually like think about it and what you're doing in your life. You know, what you're you know, what you're like what you're buying, what you're throwing away, what you're making use of. In your life, like God gives us our time, our talents, our our thoughts, our thinking, like our mind, our words, our actions, our lives are gifts from God. And what are we gonna do with them? Are we gonna are we gonna waste them, squander them, be selfish about what we've been given by God, or are we gonna like take our talents and our time and our words and our everything given by God to us, and we're we gonna put it to good use or are we going to waste it and buy a bunch of stuff and do a bunch of stuff that's all garbage and 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 live lives that are garbage and live our lives selfishly and treat everybody poorly is that what we're going to do with our lives and be evil and get drunk and and do drugs and do all this crazy stuff is that really what we're going to do with our lives like people wake up you know things are Things are going down the tubes, you know, but it's an everybody's choice, individual. What are you going to do with your life? Are you going to make a difference with your life? You got to choose your choices for your life. What are you going to do? You can't look to other people to fix the problems. Be the solution. Make good choices, you know, and say no to the craziness, the lies and the deception and, and choose a life in service, you know, obeying God. But the choice is yours, eh? God bless you. Love you. Peace be within thee. In Jesus name. Amen.